What up, everybody? This is your boy Tech G back with the final video of the CompTIA A Plus 220 1002 series to help you get successfully prepared to pass that test. So let's get into it. In this video, you're going to learn about remote access technologies such as RDP, Telnet, SSH, and file sharing. Let's talk about remote access. So a remote access service is any combination of hardware and software to enable the remote access tools or information that typically resides on a network of IT devices. A remote access service connects a client to a host computer known as a remote access server. And the most common approach to this service is remote control of a computer by using another device which needs the internet or any other network connection. RDP or Remote Desktop Protocol. This is a proprietary protocol developed by Microsoft, which provides a user with a graphical interface to connect to another computer over a network connection. The user employs RDP client software for this purpose, while the other computer must run RDP server software. The protocol allows for encrypted access with screen capture, mouse and keyboard functions. Common tasks with the remote connections are support and management of remote computers. RDP is a proprietary Microsoft protocol that is pre-installed on Windows, but Mac and Linux versions of both server and client are available as well. And to enable remote desktop in Windows 10, just go to settings, system and remote desktop. Telnet. So this is an application protocol used on the internet or local area network to provide a bi-directional interactive text oriented communication facility using a virtual terminal connection. Telnet enables users to make a text based connection to a remote computer or device and use it as if he or she were a user sitting right in front of the computer. Windows and Linux contain the command line Telnet program to open a connection to a remote computer just just open a command prompt in Windows or terminal session in Linux and type Telnet and then press enter to open the Telnet command prompt. Another option is to download the Telnet application and open it to configure the settings. Mac includes a menu driven Telnet program available from terminal. Be mindful that Telnet does not encrypt content. So information transmitted via Telnet could possibly be discovered by hackers. And also Telnet uses TCP port port 23. SSH or Secure Shell Protocol. This is a cryptographic network protocol for operating network services securely over an unsecured network. Typical applications include remote command line, login, and remote command execution, but any network service can be secured with SSH. This protocol offers more secure options than FTP or file transfer protocol and Telnet. And SSH, it uses TCP port 22. And let's talk about file sharing. So file sharing is the practice of distributing or providing access to digital media, such as computer programs, multimedia documents, or electronic books. File sharing may be achieved in a number of ways. Common methods of storage, transmission, and dispersion include manual sharing, utilizing removable media, centralized servers on computer networks, worldwide web-based hyperlink documents, and the use of distributed peer-to-peer here networking. Several protocols use SSH as a way of making a secure connection. One of these is Secure File Transfer Protocol or SFTP and SFTP provides file access over a reliable data stream generated and protected by SSH. Cloud file management is now doing much of the work FTP has performed in the past and examples of cloud storage providers are Dropbox, Google Drive, Microsoft OneDrive, and Amazon Drive. So that was a real quick video where we talked about RDP, Telnet, SSH, and file sharing. Now, if you felt like you've gotten something valuable out of this information, go ahead and hit the like button, share button, drop a comment, but most importantly, subscribe to this channel. Also go check out my website, Technology G, so that you can get read up on the latest and greatest to help you successfully pass the CompTIA A plus 221002 examination. And until next video, ladies and gentlemen, Peace.